The theme which runs through our entire season this year is American music and we're going to have a, a fantastic American music festival, the first time the RPO has ever done anything like that, which is three weekends uh, in October that we're very much looking forward to. But uh, all throughout the year you'll hear a very wide variety of American music. The first piece that kicks off uh, our entire season is by an American composer, Ron Nelson, uh, and it's called the Savannah River Holiday. Uh, and he wrote it actually when he was uh, still at Eastman. He's an Eastman alum, so he's got uh, ties here to Rochester. Uh, in, a, in the sense of capturing the mood of a holiday, I think it's really a, a brilliant uh, encapsulation of that because when we go on vacation, what do we want? We want some excitement, some energy, and we want some repose. So it's got both of those things. Uh, it's got a very American sound. Uh, there are a lot of elements that remind one of, uh, you know, frontier energy, uh, bustling um, cities, and, and all that mixed together. So it's uh, it's going to be a great way to kick off our season and to lead into the American Music Festival and uh, and tie everything together throughout the season with the American music. John Nakamatsu will be coming back to join us this season for not one but two weeks, uh, opening both the fills and the pops. I'm really looking forward to having John for this particular piece because. Um, it's very well known, of course, Rachmaninoff's Second Piano Concerto. Most people, I think, have heard at least a little bit of it. Um, and it was very personal for Rachmaninoff in, in the way it was composed. Um, he was sort of coming out of a period of uh, a little bit of depression and writer's block, which was kind of a chronic thing throughout his life. He had many periods like this. Uh, and so the Second Piano Concerto um, is really important in the overall list of, of works that Rachmaninoff wrote. It can be a little bit dangerous because it's very lush, it's very romantic, and one can uh, fall victim to sort of stopping and admiring every posy along the garden path, and then the piece can be a little bit too indulgent, um, unless you have a good partner to play it with. And John uh, is certainly um, one of my favorite people to collaborate with because he's always, he's always um, very open-minded, and he really explores a phrase along with you as the conductor in the orchestra, which is so important. Beethoven is, is perhaps my favorite composer, if I had to name one. Um, and the Seventh Symphony is, is one of his great works. There are moments where Beethoven does things that are just so simple on the page, but in the overall context, they're, uh, they're just remarkable. I mean, the, the entire piece is really based on uh, the sort of propulsive dance rhythms. And this, this begins after the introduction. Um, with the orchestra dotted 8th, 16th rhythms, yum, ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum which is, uh, it's got a lot of, uh, just, um, got a lot of natural energy contained within that rhythmic figure, um, but it's continued throughout the, the entire symphony, and it sort of uh, propels us toward the finale, which is a, a real barn burner. It's, uh, again, it's got uh, very, very energetic rhythms, yep, ba da da ba da 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 and it goes on and on and on, just it's got a very festive, triumphant atmosphere about it. Um, and again, it's, it's the whole arc, and, and um, one of my favorite moments is uh, toward the end, when Beethoven's really cooking the entire orchestra, building toward a frenzy, and it's going, 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 and all of a sudden he pulls the rug out from under us, and we go back to a softer dynamic after being really full and energetic, and then he builds it again, so he just sort of teases us at the end a little bit. But I always finish the symphony, every time I've conducted it, with a, a great sense of um, satisfaction. I mean, it's so, when you get to the end of it, the overall uh, picture is just so rewarding and so life-affirming, and it's, it's just, um, I think it's the perfect way to open a great season. Boy, if I had to sum up this season in one sentence, I would, I would have to say that um, it's a celebration of who we are as an orchestra, who we are as a city, uh, and who we are as a country through the, the great American music that you'll be hearing all year long uh, with a special nod to some of the great composers of the past and um, a great appreciation of our audience and community uh, whose energy has been felt by us throughout the previous season and I know will continue to build and energize us in the year to come.